Hey everyone, it's Mina. So if you didn't know, a few weeks ago, I made a video called answering assumptions from other YouTubers. Basically what I did was I went to other YouTubers YouTube videos and I screenshotted their assumptions that they answer because nobody would respond if I posted my own Instagram story asking people to send me assumptions because I have no followers. So this time I'm going to be doing a Q&A with other YouTubers questions. So this is kind of like a part two to using other YouTubers stuff for my videos. And yeah, that's that's kind of it. So my sister, she's going to be sitting next to me and we screenshotted a bunch of assumptions. What? No, 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 no. We screenshotted a bunch of questions and I'm going to be answering them. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. First one is biggest insecurities. Okay, well, I just wanted to say that everybody has insecurities. If you have your own insecurities, it's perfectly normal and it's okay. My biggest insecurity is just my body because I feel like there are certain body standards all over social media Like you have to be so skinny you have to be 100 pounds. I'm really insecure about that So whenever I see skinny girls on social media with that are posting pictures Maybe in a swimsuit or something. I get really insecure, but they're doing literally nothing wrong They're being confident which as they should and I totally respect them But sometimes my confidence just goes So I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to become more confident in my body because all bodies are beautiful also, sorry if you hear any paper folding because my sister is making a Mother's Day gift. Friendships, drama. I mean, I feel like everybody goes through this and everybody loses a few friendships, but yes, I have stopped being friends with certain people, but there hasn't been drama or beef with anyone. I just stopped talking to people, which is perfectly fine because not everything lasts forever. There hasn't been any drama. I mean, this isn't a movie. Ooh, okay, so I don't drink Starbucks that often, but I do have a specific order that I literally get every single time It's so basic and really boring, but I always get the vanilla bean frappuccino I just like it and it's also very simple. It's an easy order and it's also really good Do you have a crush right now? No, I don't have a crush on anybody How do you do with fake friends? By the way, love you First of all, that love you wasn't meant for me. It was meant for another youtuber, but love you too I have definitely dealt with fake friends in the past and I have a problem. I somehow always manage to let them back in my life, which is stupid. If you just don't feel comfortable with them, you don't feel like you can talk to them, share anything with them, then that's definitely not a good thing. You really have to be honest with yourself and not just tell yourself, oh, they're probably just not really in a good mood right now. No, if you genuinely feel like they're not a good person and you don't want to be friends with them, just drop them because you are who you surround yourself with. If you're surrounding yourself with a bad negative person, then they're gonna have a negative impact on you. Have you ever snuck out? No, I've never had a reason to. What's your favorite song right now? I have a lot of favorite songs. They literally change every day. My top three favorite songs right now, Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo. I freaking love her. I keep stalking her fan edits because she has such a talented fandom. And Deja Vu is definitely one of my favorite songs that she's released. But I also like a song by Joshua Bassett. I like his new song that he recently just released called Feel Something. Feel Something is just a song that I feel like you could totally vibe with with your friends at the beach. So much fun. These songs literally have such different vibes. It's a freaking mess. And I also really like my ex's best friend by Black Bear and Machine Gun Kelly. It's literally fire. All the things I love is so, so much. Do you suffer from period cramps if yes then what hurts? Um I don't suffer from period cramps. I don't suffer from anything because I don't have my period yet, which I'm kind of grateful for. No no not kind of I'm very grateful for because I know there are people out there who have really painful period cramps and even if you just don't have cramps it's it probably sucks, but I really do hope that I have it one day because if I have my period, then that's a good thing. I'm healthy. Do you ever see yourself moving to LA? I mean, maybe one day. I feel like LA is something that's not really for me because LA is mostly filled with a bunch of influencers. But if I ever do ever become an influencer, then maybe I will move to LA. It's not really certain because I will most likely stay here forever. <laughs> not forever, but you get the point. What's your full name? My name is Mina Kelly Fan. Biggest 
here? Spiders. End of conversation. What's your favorite fast food place? Fun question. I love Chick-fil-A. It's my bae. It's my husband. Their Chick-fil-A sauce. Oh my god. It's so flipping good. And I love to eat it with waffle fries, chicken nuggets. Do you like well, I'm not gonna lie, okay? If I'm being completely honest, drama sometimes is kind of interesting and sometimes I wanna know about it, I'm interested in it. But sometimes it can kind of affect you because it can make you gossip and spread so many rumors. It can literally be a complete mess. Dealing with your own drama isn't as fun as keeping up with other people's drama because it's very entertaining. So it's kind of half and half. I like drama because sometimes it's interesting but at the same time, it might affect me as well. So, I don't really know what to say to cancel culture. Cancel culture is low-key problematic. It's kind of like a waste of time too. There are, are definitely influencers out there who are very, very problematic. I'm not gonna lie. And they have gotten canceled many times. And I say they kind of deserve to get canceled because what they do is so wrong. But I feel like it's also kind of pointless because canceling someone, it's not gonna do anything. All it's doing is just causing even more drama around the internet and that's not what we want. We just want a safe, positive platform. Instead of canceling someone, try to just help them improve and give them advice on how they can become a better person and stop doing what they're doing. I kind of just like want to travel the entire world. But if I did have to choose a few places that I want to travel to, I definitely do like tropical places. For example, I really want to travel to Hawaii one day, Dubai, Bora Bora, definitely. And I also just really like chill places that are super vibey. New York City. And I have actually been to this place before. I love Las Vegas. It's just really fun to go to Las Vegas. It's not too chill, but it's also not too crazy. Can you Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. What is your favorite aesthetic? I really like the cottage core and soft girl aesthetic. I just think it's really pretty. What's the hardest part about being a YouTuber? Honestly, I don't think there's any like hard parts about being a YouTuber because I genuinely just like to film videos. But it's just that you have to kind of just be consistent. It takes a lot of time to film and edit videos, so it's just the consistency. So that is it for the QA. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below any other videos that would include stealing other youtubers stuff from their videos and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video Bye.